Hi, I'm m y u n g s i n from Igalia. I'd like to talk about how to work with Plevon test for pre-rendering between render side and browser side. Before starting, we need some background. What is pre-rendering? We try to load web page before it is needed so that when it is needed, we can show them instantly. Please see the details from previous talks. Also, we should understand module capability control called MCC. It's to intercept all module interfaces before binding them to restrict Web API features on pre-rendering pages. So we can control Web APIs by granting, deferring, canceling, or killing. Please see the details from previous talk. It's quite simple to write WPT tasks for pre-rendering. We create a broadcast channel to communicate with the pre-rendering page and open the pre-rendering page and waiting until getting the message from it. At the pre-rendering page, we connect the channel and we can check if this document is pre-rendering, then send the result to main test page and check the result. We support the same origin pre-rendering page and the plan is to support the cross-origin pre-rendering as well. In case of same origin, we can expect to grant some web APIs without any blocking. So module interface for granting web APIs will be bound immediately, and we can get results during pre-rendering. If we don't register the module interfaces to map for the specific behaviors in MCC, it will be deferred basically during pre-rendering. So we can get the result in the test page after pre-rendering page is activated. The pre-render event correct API works to test this process. Pre-render process are not trusted. So almost features that access the system are implemented on the browser side, but video features are implemented on the render side. So they add callback to different map in the document during pre-rendering and invoke them after pre-rendering page is activated. But there is no difference from WPT test. If the pictures use the mode sync method during pre-rendering, we do cancel it. And if the feature required user activations is called it, we kill the renderer since it is uninspected. We can consider to write it as a browser test if it's difficult to write WPT test. Thank you.